Humans are explorers. Since the dawn of civilization, we have sought adventures and brand new discoveries. Our thirst for knowledge knows no bounds. This has never been truer than now, as we prepare to traverse the cosmos. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three space-based discoveries. Scientists detect the ghostly signal that reveals the engine of the universe. When we make a discovery that inches us a little closer to being able to confirm a theory, it's thrilling. But when we uncover something monumental, it is truly revolutionary to the field, to our history and to our futures. Physics is a discipline that truly captures our understanding of the world. To advance our understanding of physics is to advance our understanding of everything we are surrounded by. In November of 2020, an article was published to the scientific journal Nature, in which scientists detailed their research where they detected, for the first time, neutrinos that can be traced back to carbon-nitrogen-oxygen fusion. Carbon-nitrogen-oxygen fusion, otherwise known as the CNO cycle, is a process that occurs inside the Sun. Whilst to those of us who do not know all too much about physics, this particle is a truly iconic moment that will not be forgotten anytime soon. This finding can confirm theories and predictions we have been guessing at since the 1930s. Gioacchino Ranucci, a researcher at the Italian National Institute for Nuclear Physics, said it's really a breakthrough for solar and stellar physics. He has been one of the researchers tackling this project since it first began in 1990. Scientists were able to use the Borixino detector at the IFN's Gran Sasso Particle Physics Laboratory located in central Italy. This is an incredibly sensitive piece of equipment. It is the largest underground research center in the world and sits below the Apennine Mountains. The quest to hunt down this particle is the Borixino project, and uncovering the neutrino we have been looking for concludes decades of predictions and research. It has revealed to us the main nuclear reaction that most stars use to fuse hydrogen into helium. Most stars, including our very own Sun, emit massive amounts of energy by fusing hydrogen into helium. This is essentially a way to burn hydrogen. It is worth bearing in mind that hydrogen is the simplest and most abundant element in our universe, making it the main fuel source. For the Sun particularly, 99% of its energy comes from what is known as proton-proton fusion. This produces beryllium, lithium and boron before they are broken down into helium. It's not always this clear and straightforward. Our Sun is not very big, at least not in comparison to some of the other stars in the universe. It's worth noting that typically the larger the star, the hotter it is. These are therefore powered mostly by CNO fusion. CNO fusion keeps an endless loop between carbon, nitrogen and oxygen as to which atomic nuclei facilitates the fuse of hydrogen into helium. By our calculations, the CNO cycle is the primary type of fusion in the universe. Unfortunately for us, in the star closest to us, the Sun, this accounts for only 1% of its energy. The Borixino detector searches for neutrinos that are produced in the nuclear fusion process at the Sun's core. This is a difficult process due to how hard it is to detect neutrinos. Using neutrinos to study distant nuclear reactions is a preferable and ideal approach since neutrinos have very limited interactions, barely interacting with anything at all. To put into context how difficult it is to detect these elusive particles, trillions of neutrinos pass through the Borixino detector with each passing second, though only a few dozen are detected within an entire day. This is done by looking for small, faint flashes of light produced as they decay in a dark 300-ton tank of water. Having poured decades of research into this, it was not until the last five years that big strides were taken as the detector was made even more sensitive. This was done by blocking external sources of radioactivity. This makes the chamber of the Borixino detector the most radiation-free place on Earth. From this research, we can see the first ever piece of evidence confirming that the long-hypothesized CNO cycle is taking place in the Sun and other stars. 
This can push us to uncover more about how the cores of our stars are composed, as well as a bit more behind the formation process of heavy stars. This one tiny type of particle that has been discovered has had a major, momentous impact upon the world of physics as we know it. Astronomers capture dying star emitting smoke ring, V. Hydrae. In its last moments, a red giant star called V. Hydrae revealed an unusual feature to the astronomers studying it. V. Hydrae emitted six distinct smoke rings that are formed every few hundred years, according to scientists. This is the first time that expanding smoke rings have been observed around a star in its end throes. While there are many unknown details about this event, this new observation may alter the current model of stellar evolution and give insight into our Sun's fate. The red giant moniker is given to stars in the final stages of their stellar evolution. A star's internal temperature begins to increase when its core no longer converts hydrogen into helium and the star begins to be compressed by gravity. The star then begins to expand due to the core's heating and compression while the surface temperature becomes relatively cool. This process makes the star appear orange-red, like a red giant. According to the current model, the final red giant stage begins when the helium in the star's core is spent and the core shrinks once again, turning the star into an asymptomatic giant branch, or AGB star. The AGB star gets closer to its final transition as it loses its mass. By the current estimation, in about 5 billion years, our own sun will become a red giant and then turn into an AGB. Then, finally, it will evolve into a planetary nebula with a white dwarf in the center. The research team that studied this event also found blasts of gas that were ejected from the star perpendicular to the smoke rings and formed two structures with an hourglass shape. These structures are expanding rapidly. The discoveries made with the V. Hydrae have thrown astronomers for a loop as the ejections of rings of gas along with the jets of material produced at high speeds are new developments in how astronomers currently understand a star ending. The traditional model of an AGB star end by the ejection of fuel in a slow spherical wind over 100,000 years or more is counter to the rapid evolution the research team observed. The team also found a possible stellar companion near V. Hydrae that may play a role in the star coming to an end. All of this, once again, points to the need for constant changes in understanding when it comes to science, as new evidence can easily alter the current models. We must be prepared for it. Galaxy Collision Creates Space Triangle in New Hubble Image When viewing space through the lenses of ultra-powerful telescopes, Researchers are never quite sure what they might see or discover next. In one recent instance, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope captured amazing images of a head-on collision between two galaxies, which fueled an incredible star-birthing frenzy that took place around the collision site in an unusual and stunningly vibrant triangle formation. The collision occurred between spiral galaxy NGC 2445 and NGC 2444 collectively called ARP-143 after their impact, which appears to have happened as a result of these galaxies passing through each other, resulting in a cosmic tug-of-war between the gravitational pulls of the two entities. It appears that NGC-2445 is winning the battle, as it is continuously pulling gas from its counterpart, and it is this action that has fueled the birth of massive amounts of stars that surround the former galaxy in the strange triangle shape. Julianne Dalcanton, with the Flatiron Institute's Center for Computational Astrophysics in New York, explained the process resulting in such an unusual formation in detail, saying that simulations show that head-on collisions between two galaxies is one way of making rings of new stars. Therefore, rings of star formation are not uncommon. But what's weird about this system is that it's a triangle of star formation. Part of the reason for that shape is that these galaxies are still so close to each other, and NGC 2444 is still holding on to the other galaxy gravitationally. NGC 2444 may also have an invisible hot halo of gas that could help to pull NGC 2445's gas away from its nucleus. 
so they are not completely free of each other yet, and their unusual interaction is distorting the ring into this triangle. As the apparently stronger NGC-2445 uses its counterpart's gas to fuel such unique star formations, NGC-2444 is fighting back, pulling strands of gas back towards itself, which further stokes the young, recently formed stars and gives the appearance of a sort of bridge being created between the two warring galaxies. It seems that the streamer-like configurations of stars are likely some of the first stars created within this system, coming into existence between 50 and 100 million years ago, with younger stars blinking into life closer to the stronger galaxy's center. And the trail of new stars only continues to grow as the two galaxies slowly pull away from each other, even while NGC 2445 center continues to fuel the rapid formation of more new stars. Amazingly, the images from the Hubble Space Telescope are so clear that researchers can view some of these stars individually and study the effects of this galactic tug-of-war on the space surrounding the event. The study of events such as this one allows researchers to gain a better understanding of the interactions that must have occurred billions of years before life began on Earth for the universe to look and act the way that it does today. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.